How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another little video here. This is the new grinder. I told you guys I made a, a video a little while back on a couple grinders that I had in my garage and I was going to get rid of one and I wanted to get a new one. I have here, this is the Jet. It's an 8 inch bench grinder. I want to uh, I wanted something a little bit heavier because this is one of my main tools in the garage is a grinder. So I wanted to get a good one and I do believe that this was a good one. Um, there's, I'm going to be unboxing this uh, grinder and I'll let you see what's in it, what comes with it and then we'll fire it up. Uh, there's a little, I ordered this from uh, Northern Tool. They told me uh, that it was on back order. So they said it would be another week before I got it. So I said, well, another week, that's okay, not a problem. So a week went by and uh, no grinder. And if you, if you go back and see when I posted the other two videos on the grinder, the first one, that is when I ordered this. So Northern Tool did a very, very poor job on getting me this grinder. Last week, I actually called them and canceled this order. And I found another one, which was the same exact one, but I was going to buy it from another company. So a whole week had went by after I had canceled that. And they sent me an email saying that I couldn't cancel it because they already had a tracking number and mine was already, this one was already set out. Now, if I wanted to be nasty to them, I could have fought that because I had my email saying I wanted the order canceled. They waited a whole week and then sent me an email saying they couldn't cancel it, that it was already shipped. So, but I went ahead and got the grinder from Northern Toll. So, Northern Toll might not be a really good place to order your tools from. So, but I did get the grinder. Now, let's see what it looks like. I know a lot of people said the shipping was terrible on these, but we're going to see because I'm going to unbox it in front of the camera. So, let's get this going. Well, as you can see, the box is, it's actually wet and been beat up a good bit but we're gonna see inside and it's never been opened so we'll see it looks like it's been dropped here it's been laying on the ground sideways and when I picked it up it was literally upside down so when they delivered it it was upside down so we'll see how bad it's beat up so far so good we got our manual Our cast iron holders, these are for our uh, the holder to hold your stock. We've got safety lenses here. And there's our grinder. Let me get this thing set out on the table here. Get rid of the box. This grinder is very, very heavy. All right, there's our grinder. That is supposed to be a good heavy duty grinder. So I'm just going to look it over and see what it looks like to see if there might be any type of damage on it and by looking up it actually looks like it's in pretty good shape so we got a few pieces here that we're gonna have to mount on ourselves. I'm gonna get this laid out and then I'll get you guys back okay I got everything laid out basically you're getting your two tool rest and then you get some uh, 
These are for your eye protection, just a guard to keep the sparks from coming up and hitting your eyes. Honestly, you should have a set of safety glasses on anyhow. But, we're going to go ahead and install these two guys. There's only two bolts to each one of them. You'll need a 12 millimeter socket with a little ratchet. They're marked on them right and left, so you really can't make, them, make a mistake on them. We don't want to over tighten them just snug them up we'll go ahead and do the other side Okay, we got our rest on there, and now we're going to work on the uh, little piece here that's uh, for our little safety shield. Now, uh, don't think this is a big deal because they have pretty good instructions for this. And each one of your pieces are marked with an L for the left or an R for the right. If you just go by the uh, instructions right here in the book, you shouldn't have any problem putting this together. So on this, I'm going to need one lock washer and the Phillips head screw or bolt. And then one flat washer, slide it on, and then put your big black piece here on your little, I call it a wing nut type thing. So we got that one done. We'll go ahead and do up the right one. Do it the same, just the opposite direction. Okay, nothing to it. So now we got them two on. Now we just have to mount the brackets to the grinder and put our little shields on. Okay, for the next step we're going to be putting our little uh, pieces here on. This is to hold our little uh, glass shields that will keep the sparks from getting in our eyes. So you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket. Go ahead and start your two bolts. You can start off with either side, left or right, it doesn't matter. I'm just standing here so that's the one I'm going to start with. Now you want to watch down here that this thing doesn't touch your wheel. Down under here, this is going to keep the sparks from going all the way around the wheel. And then give it a snug. Don't over tighten them, just tighten them. Okay, now we're going to put our little shield here on. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver for this part. You don't need one quite as long as I got, but it's the first one I've seen there. Just leave your little plate of steel underneath of there, and then Put your bolts back in. 
And then we're going to get them snugged up. Don't over tighten them, just snug them up. Now our little shield is on here, we can tighten it wherever we wish to put it. I'll go ahead and do the other side the same exact way. Okay, all the parts that we needed to assemble on this is now assembled. So what we're going to do now is we're not going to plug this into no extension cord. We're going to take this thing over there and make sure it's plugged into an outlet. This is a one horsepower motor. We do not want it put on an extension cord. I don't think it'd be good on it. So we're going to move it over to the counter and plug it in. All right, the grinder's plugged in now. It's got a good, uh, it's into a good outlet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to give it a try. This grinder came with a coarse wheel and it came from a, with a fine wheel on it. Let's see how it vibrates around on this table because it's not bolted down. I honestly don't think that's very bad at all. That thing's running super smooth. It's not moving anywhere. I feel a wee little bit of vibration. That's probably from the wheels. So we'll grind on a piece of metal. You're not stopping that grinder. That thing uh, will grind some metal. And nice and quiet. I love how quiet it is. A little bit of vibration there. To a stop. That thing didn't vibrate hardly any at all. Compared to my other grinders, this one here is super nice. It's quiet and it's nice. It's a nice grinder. Okay everyone, that's a look at the grinder. I think it's going to be a pretty good grinder. They say Jet's pretty good. I'm going to start buying a little better tools if I can. Um, I paid $239 for it. I got it from Northern Tool. I think next time I could have got the same grinder for the exact same price from Home Depot offline and uh, would have had probably less trouble. Uh, later on, after I've run this thing for a while, what I'll do is I'll post another video on how the grinder is performing. Uh, I do honestly think it's going to be a pretty good grinder, but time will tell. I'd like to tell everyone thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. And don't forget, if you want alerts, click on the bell down at the bottom. They'll send you an alert saying I put up a new video. Till next time.